This August 19th in Tibetan calendar is Tibetan's annual biggest religious festival, the Shodan Festival. There are several different activities throughout the festival, but the most crucial one starts in early morning, picking up the Buddha and exhibiting it on the mountain. It's 6.30 in the morning, the monks are carrying the row of Buddha Tonka out of the monastery. Locals believe it's a blessing if they can carry the Buddha as well. So, I joined. It is believed in the 18th century, monks didn't leave the monasteries for a few months in the summer. Cause as summer arrived, there would be more creatures like insects. And the monks didn't want to accidentally kill them because of the not to kill rule in Buddhism. But when they finally could leave the monastery, people would welcome monks with yogurts. Uh, so now they are carrying a giant uh, Tonka Buddha to uh, over there, somewhere over there, uh, on top of the mountain. And there will display the whole giant uh, Tonka Buddha. So I uh, kind, of, kind of catch my breath because we're climbing the hill while carrying the giant uh, Tonka in low oxygen area. So everybody's kind of hard to catch the breath. So am I. Actually, uh, seconds ago, my heartbeat raised to uh, 130. Uh, so now we're gonna continue to follow them all the way up the mountain to the place we're gonna display the Buddha temple. But now, after all these years, Shodan Festival has become a cultural festival for almost everyone in Lhasa. And it has many more activities, like Tibetan opera performances, picnicking in the parks. Hi everybody, after half an hour climbing the mountain in early morning, now we finally arrived here, uh, up in the mountain, and you can see uh, Tibetans locals and monks are here already waiting uh, to wait for the ceremony because later on um, this direction you can see there's a giant uh, platform later they're gonna display this giant Buddha Tonka you can see them there setting up some ropes so later they're gonna display the Tonka here um, so even it's early in the morning everybody gonna climb the mountain no matter how hard it is how cold it is like for us we climbed for an hour but the locals they got here like even longer, they wake up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, clay, uh, climb all around the mountain just to uh, be here to pray in front of this Buddha Tanka. Now I think, oh, they're setting up the Tanka. Okay, let's see. I cannot find a word to describe what I saw today because everything on this mountain, um, everything is so pretty. No matter it's the view, the scenery, the sunlight 
shooting directly at the Buddha, Tanka Buddha, and um, the monks praying on the mountains. Everything is so pretty. I cannot find a word either in Chinese or English to describe the shocking emotions that I got from the view. And I wish the camera can catch the real, real effect of this natural scene, but. I have to remember this with my eyes, because cameras can't catch that. What touches me the most is, I saw, on our way to the mountain, I saw so many locals. I saw her grandma. She was, she was so old, but she was praying and kneeling the entire way. And there were so many people, so many crowds walking past her. But in her eyes, she couldn't see any of us. Her, in her eyes, there's only Buddha. She was praying to this Tonka the entire time. No matter how many people passing her, that's how devoted those locals are to their religion. So if you have a chance to visit to that, I really recommend you to to join this shoulder festival to see to experience this. That's that will well, that's the moment you will realize how devoted the locals, the Tibetans, are to their religion, to their faith. Hmm. So we finished the ceremony. Now you can see everybody is getting off the mountain. Now the, it's the daytime, the sun came out. It's much brighter than earlier. Oh, it's so crowded. So many people came here just to pray. Now we came back to this monastery. Uh, remember earlier in this vlog, uh, when the sky is still dark, I was drawing all the monks to carry the tanka. It was exactly here because it was so dark, I couldn't recognize the monastery. But now, with all the sunlight, you can see the full color. It's so pretty. And uh, earlier this morning, when it's still dark, the tanka exactly came from came out from that door. All the monks carry the tanka from this hall of this monastery.